Hello everyone and welcome to EduTap. Guys, we are back with another session for uh, Himachal Pradesh Administration Services mains for the year 2021. And guys, uh, up till now we have been uh, we have been looking at the previous year exams and uh, what are the level of questions and what are the type of questions that have been thrown at you. From now on, guys, from these sessions onwards, we'll be uh, we'll be practicing some uh, questions so that you can start uh, building up your strategy that which section you need to focus on and how to look at the question so let's begin the session guys but before we begin I would, I would like to inform you about the weekend sale that we have launched across the board for all our courses uh, be it rbi sebi nabard esic ivps upsc icar pfrd or any of our combo courses and we are offering a 40 percent plus additional five percent discount on all these courses and the coupon code is weekend and this sale is valid only till today guys that is 18th of october so don't miss out on this opportunity so let's begin guys we have already discussed that there are five sections that are basically asked in your uh, mains exam number one is your uh, grammar second is vocabulary third is composition of a letter or a report fourth is comprehension passage and fifth is pressy writing so we'll start section section by section and we'll discuss all these verticals of your paper so today we'll be discussing uh, english grammar and uh, first of all let's look at the type of questions that they throw at you so we'll be discussing the first type of questions that is error detection right we call it error detection why because you are given a sentence and you have to find the error in the uh, in the given sentence for example these five questions were for or were for error detection for example either i or my friend is willing to watch the movie that was the error here so it should have been is in place of r no lesser than 10 students came for the class so it should be no fewer than because uh, students are countable third i haven't seen some big cities it should be i haven't seen any big cities this question is based on determiners fourth is he explained briefly his case before the chairperson <clears throat> should be he briefly explained his case before the chairperson briefly should be used before the uh, verb this is a rule of adverb and fifth is though she was angry but she listened to me patiently what should be replaced by yet this is a, a question of conjunction guys step by step we'll discuss such questions and we'll practice more on the basis of uh, these questions that we can understand what type of questions you may face in the exam but today we'll be taking up five questions that uh, are based on similar pattern you are given a sentence and you have to find the error in the sentence first question is before he started out he had collected all the informations about the country he was going to visit so now we have to find the error right so these type of questions are called error detection questions guys so what is the error in this sentence before he started out he had collected all the informations about the country he was going to visit the error here is informations guys uh, we never use the word plural of informations information is already collection of data right so it is a collective noun and it is not used in plural form this was the error here and uh, this is how you have to find the error in the given sentences right now question number two so we'll be discussing five questions today the second question is the assurance that he will cured from the disease pleased him very much right the assurance that he will cured from the disease pleased him very much this was a question on the basis of verb the sentence is in passive form so it should be he will be cured the assurance that he will be cured from the disease pleased him very much so you face such type of questions in your exams and you should be ready with your preparation right next question number three guys uh, her ability to talk to strangers is one of her stronger points what is the error here guys her ability to talk to strangers is one of her stronger points or one of her strongest points so this is this should be one of her strongest points that her ability to talk to strangers is one of her strongest points so that should be the correct uh, part here stronger is used for comparison we, uh, if there is no third person or second person there cannot be a comparison so that is the error here let's look at question number four guys uh, my brother-in-law along with his daughter were present at the function i think a similar question we saw in the uh, in the actual paper that i just showed you initially 
So this question is my brother-in-law along with his daughter. So we tend to believe that there are two people here. One is brother-in-law and his daughter. But actually the conjunction plays a very important role beside the subject. Daughter is not the subject. Subject is only my brother-in-law. So for that subject is singular. The verb should also be kept singular. The correct answer here is was not were. Right. So you do face such type, such type of questions. And for these, you have to build up your grammatical concepts. Guys, uh, if you thinking, sir, where to build up these grammatical uh, concepts, uh, we are providing you all the videos of all the chapters in our courses where you can learn these concepts and you can be sure about your execution. And guys, uh, last question for today is uh, question number five. After you will return from America, I will come and see you. Okay. When America, se lot ke aa jaoge, tab main tumse milne aunga. This is a question of tenses. Now, you always have to remember whenever we frame a sentence of our future indefinite, we have to keep the point of reference in present indefinite. The error here is will should be removed from here. After no, it should not be after you will return. It should be after you return from America. I will come and see you. So, point of reference sentence in tenses is always kept in present indefinite. After you return my money, then I will help you out. Right. After you will reach home, I will call you or after you reach home, I will call you. It should be after you reach home, I will call you. So you should be very clear with the concepts of grammar if you want to build up your strategy, if you want to execute an excellent paper, guys. And we'll have more such sessions. <clears throat> and if you wish to enroll in any of our courses, guys, we have launched a, a, a sale for today only. I mean, this is the last day of the sale. And we are offering 40% plus additional 5% discount on all our courses across the board. So <clears throat> you can avail any of our courses uh, as well as for HPS. You will, you can get benefited from it. So guys, uh, the coupon code is weekend, right? And uh, if you wish to contact us for anything, guys, these are our contact details. Uh, our, uh, our phone number is 8146207241. Or you can also drop us an email at hello at the rate at the .co .in. And guys, if you wish to check out any of our courses, the links have been given in the description of the video. And you can also find the PDF of these sessions in the Telegram channel, for which the link is also given in the description of the video. Guys, I hope your preparation is on track. And I hope your endeavors prove beneficial and fruitful for your journey. So having said that, I wish you all the very best for your exam. And keep up the good work.